Okay, so this is a tour of the projects interface. Now, um, all your projects that you create will all be stored here. And at any time you click on this to edit the project, or if you've already created a PDF, then you can access that instantly from this link here where it says open PDF. And of course you can delete um, or do whatever you need to. Um, the other thing to be aware of is all our support for this app is done within the application. So what we've done here is there is a question mark down the bottom right. If you click on that um, and type in your message, then you know our team will be there uh, to get back to you. Now um, it's not always instant, um, and it can take you know a, a couple of hours depending on the time zone um, and w whatever it is. Log a message here, um, and we'll get back to you you know as soon as we can. Okay, so this is the main interface, and from here this is where you create your projects. Okay. Um, and the first thing you'll need to do when you create a project is type in the URL of the post that you want to scan. Now, by default, you know, a lot of people have blog, uh, blogs from WordPress, but, you know, we also scan things like uh, Squarespace or Shopify or, you know, various other sites. There are some sites that won't work. So in our testing, for example, we found that, you know, sites, for, for example, on Forbes, um, if I go to Forbes.com, then, you know, posts here for some reason, and it could be this, um, simply don't scan. Okay, um, and let me show you the kind of message that you might get, um, you know, if you can't find, you know, a post that actually uh, works. So if I just click on the link here, and I'm going to take that link and try it, in designer okay and that's what you get next okay um, even if I remove that you know it tries to uh, scan it but it's unable to open that site okay so that does happen sometimes and so the best way around that is to create a project manually um, and you click on click skip this step like this and then choose a template and um, with any of these templates, these are predefined styles and layouts that we put together for you. And so if I click on London, then I give it the name and click on create and it opens up um, into a blank uh, template for me to add content into manually. Okay, so I'm just going to stop this video. This is the tour, um, so the basic high level overview and the, uh, the next few videos will go into more detail um, about the builder section.